you already know what time it is when you see my scrubs on and my stethoscope on my neck because I'm about to spill some tea. I'm about to share my greatest finds on all the nursing essentials I've been shopping for because I start working on Monday. So I've been really shopping and looking for the best items to start my new career, you know? And now as you can see, I'm starting to wear my scrubs on this channel. I did a video on my scrub haul, which I'm gonna link up here if you have not watched it. That video entails everything to do with nursing uniforms. So from your scrubs, your under scrubs, fleece jackets, shoes, you name it, that video is for you. Anyway, let's just get started. So the first item I have is my watch. I think Apple Watches, well, not just Apple Watch, any smartwatch really is essential when you work. Just because for one, you're not allowed to have your phone on the unit with you while you're working. Having a watch is just a nice way to pick through your messages without really looking like you're just on your phone and really not doing anything. I'm planning to do another detailed video on how I use my Apple Watch in terms of increasing my efficiency while working. I do have this app called My Water App and this app is just good to track my water intake throughout the day. It's kind of set up with the Apple Watch just like how you have your rings circles it gives you a circle for your water intake so anytime you intake some liquids you just input the ounces and then the ring just keeps on highlighting blue the water bottle i use is this by vitscan and from amazon again everything is going to be linked on my amazon storefront and the link is going to be down below so the reason i like this water bottle so much is because it highlights your 7 a.m 9 a.m by hourly so it has from 7 to 9 to 11 to 1 to 3 to 5 to 7 to 9 p.m i usually aim to drink at least four ounces per hour so this whole bottle is 64 ounces 64 ounces divided by 16 hours which are the time marked on this bottle gives you about eight ounces per two hours so every hour i do aim to drink at least four ounces and this is where my water app comes handy so I'm just going to go on the app, tap in how often it needs to remind me. So it does remind me every hour that I need to intake some water because let's be honest, when you're busy on the floor working, we do not even remember to take care of ourselves, hydrate and all this good stuff. And the second app I actually just downloaded and I input my hours is Nurse Grid. So with Nurse Grid, you can input your shift hours, you can input the facility you're working and you can input however many facilities you're working out it just gives you a layout of the calendar for instance for me i'm going to be working at one facility and i also have my practicum hours at another facility i can input them in the same calendar you can set notifications on when you need to be reminded that you're on call or you have a shift coming up and when it's payday and all that good stuff. Once you link the app with your facility, it also connects you to your colleagues within the same unit. I find that feature to be really cool. And then you can also message within the app with all your colleagues to swap your shift. I think that's really, really cool. So the next thing I wanna talk about is my screen protector for my watch. I had opted for the one that's a silicone-ish cover that covers your whole screen and that just made my watch look so bulky. I'm very particular in how I like my items to look and that was just not working for me. So I got this ones, these other tempered glass ones from Amazon, I'm gonna link them. The reason why I got it is because whenever I wanna wipe down my watch, I don't wanna wipe it down on the screen because I'm using Lysol and all these harsh chemicals. So I'd rather have protector on my watch screen so that even when I'm disinfecting it at the end of the day or whenever I'm exposed to any bodily fluids, it's not necessarily ruined, if that makes sense. As for what to wear, of course you need your scrubs. Like I said, I did a video on all the scrubs I've been shopping for and all your nursing uniform essentials. So if you need to watch that video, go ahead and watch that video for that segment. And uh, you need your badge reels. So your badge reels are gonna hold your badges, your Sharpies, your 
reference cards if you have any. I have two badge reels that I love so much. Let me show you guys. So this is the first badge reel that I have. It's really cute with red diamonds on it and it just says RN with a stethoscope on it. And it also has a nursing cap on top of it. I got this one from Amazon. The second one was a gift from my mom for graduation. It's just a simple RN with diamonds all around it. Something else I like to keep on me are these headbands, which I just started to get into them. Especially being someone like me, I like to do my edges, but you know, I have to be realistic with myself. Do I really want to look cute and do my edges every morning that I gotta work? Or can I just be simple and throw on a headband? I chose the headband way, and I've been loving this ones from Amazon. They do come in three different colors and other patterns as well, so there's a lot of combinations you can choose from. And the ones I chose was just this black and white one, this burgundy one and the navy one. I like this headband so much because of the knot at the front and they fit very very well. They don't fit too tight to a point where you have a headache and they stretch as well. So I like that so much. They also have buttons. I don't know whether you can see it. There's clear buttons on the side. The back is very very thick. You can fold it, you can cuff it, whatever you want to do with it. So yes, moving on to what I have on me, my blue light glasses. I recently just started wearing contacts. To go with my contacts, I do have non-prescribed blue light glasses. This is how they look. They come in a set of two for about $14. This was a great find. They have so many good reviews and I can honestly attest to that because as an online student, I've been using this ones nonstop. And prior to buying this ones, when I will complete my online assignments, by the end of the day, I could literally feel the strain in my eyes. I could feel a headache coming. So ever since I got this glasses, I've been using them nonstop. I usually put it in this little case right here and I have its wiping cloth in here as well. I recently saw my eye doctor and she did prescribe me some blue light glasses with my lenses on it so whenever I choose to wear glasses on site I'm not gonna have my contacts and I'm not gonna have my blue light glasses on me I'm just gonna have the wiping cloth and yeah but if I'm gonna be wearing my contact this is what you need as a contact wearer so the first thing I usually carry with me for my contacts is this disinfecting solution. You don't know what you might come across. And I did get the dailies, the daily contacts that I use. And then at the end of the day, I just trash them. Because my doctor said if you're someone who's working in healthcare, it's recommended that you wear the dailies because you don't know what pathogens you're being exposed to in the hospital and no matter how you clean them you know it's never guaranteed that all of it is gone and that might cause an infection so it's just better to use it and toss them. I also have this tired eye dry eye relief that I got from CVS. It looks like this right there. This is really good for relieving your dry eye. You know when you're in the hospital, it's so drying. Let's say I am focusing to read something. My contacts can get really, really dry and then they just kind of fog out for a good minute. But that's how I know that my contacts are now running dry and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of these eye drops. Then of course, to clean my glasses, I just carry my lens cleaner with me. It just looks like this. This is the one given from my eye doctor, nothing fancy. Let's move on to what I do have inside my bag. So these are the two bags that I'm gonna be carrying with me to the hospital. This is my lunch bag and this is my main bag. This is actually a gift from my sister friend and I am so glad she got me this because I just wanted something slick to carry my snacks, fruits, lunch, whatever I want to put in it. It's just this cylindrical lunch container that has three compartments. So the top part that just opens up like that, then the middle part and then the bottom part. Inside it is actually stainless steel. So this cannot really be microwavable, but it does keep your food warm or cold for about three to four hours. Oh. So actually it has four compartments. This top part actually comes out and there's another part. So I did not even know that myself. 
Anyway, so this is why I plan to carry all my munchies to the hospital. It's just nice, it's slick, it's a vertical up storage. I don't want nothing bulky with me. And this bag together with this container can fit into the refrigerator very well. So this bag itself is insulated, so that's a plus to keep your food even warmer. It also comes with your cutlery set. So this one came in with a fork and a spoon. Very handy to have. This lunchbox has two slots. So this is where I put my cutlery set. And then in this other slot, I like to put some mints that, you know, after you have your lunch, you just quickly want to refresh your mouth. So I do have this hospitality mints just because I was on the hunt for butter mints. I could not find the legit ones anywhere unless they were written thank you. So I bought a bulk of 300 mints, I guess. So I just put them in this glass jar. So I usually refill my lunchbox when I come home or whenever they're over. And I also have some in my toiletry bag. I have some on me in my scrubs. I have this ones everywhere. Like I said, ain't nobody got time to be walking around with stinking breath, not me. Let's move on to my backpack. The reason why I like this backpack so much is just because it's convertible so you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can wear it as a backpack because it has some straps and it's leather which means you can easily wipe it down with some Lysol. Whatever you carry in the hospital, you don't want to bring it home with you. It also has so many pockets. It has this one right here, this flap right here, it has two side pockets. It has this other back side pocket. Again, inside it has some pockets. It also has a slot for you to keep your hand sanitizer. Very well constructed. I was happy with my patches and I got this one from Marshalls. It was only about $29. So in this top part, I just have my small notebook that I also have for my practicums. If you watched my what's in my clinical bag for practicums, I have the same notebook. And being that I'm gonna be a new orientee, I'm gonna be, of course, taking a lot of notes from procedures to policies to all that good stuff because then you don't want your preceptor to be telling you all this, oh, so this is how you do this, this is how you do discharges. And then tomorrow you're back with the same question. You're like, okay, so what exactly did you say? How did we do the discharge yesterday? I do not want to appear like I'm not paying attention. So whatever she tells me from day dot is what I'm going to write. Like from step one to step 10 to step 100, I don't care so long as it's going to be in this little notebook. Moving on to this flap. In here, I just have my car keys. Of course you need your car keys, but the reason why I'm showing you guys my car keys, considering, let's say, if I work very late shifts, I'm gonna be working by myself, just for safety purposes as well. Let me just show you how my keychain is set up. The first thing that I love the most is this little wallet. This wallet is very handy. It also has the RFID um, protection, which protects your um, card information open and then I have my ID right here on the front I have my police alarm and it's very loud you guys are gonna hear it are you ready please mute me if you don't want to hear how loud this thing is okay I went deaf there for a second. It also has a flashlight. I also have some pepper spray with me. This is the reason why I'm showing you my keychain because instead of having this in my toiletry bag, I have it on my keys. I have to move closer for this. So in the top part, I usually put my migraine relief painkillers like the Excedrin. The second part, I put my pamperin, which, you know, for some reason, Midol never works for me when I'm having cramps. So I tried pampering. Literally in about 15 minutes, I went from feeling all sad and in pain. I could barely even speak to anyone to being so hyper. I could not understand how that worked. And then in the last portion, I have my prescribed medicine for migraine that I usually take on the onset of an hour or so. That's that, and that's how my keychain is set up. Moving on to this big slot right here. 
I only have two things in here and those are my main pouches. So the first one being my equipment case. This little bad boy just keeps all my equipment that I need. In here, I just have my reference cards, my extra Sharpies, and my extra pen refills. Moving on to the next, I put my pen light. And the reason why I love this pen light so much is because it has the pupil meter that just tells you how many millimeters the pupil constricted to and it also has a ruler so this is the ruler right here and this is the pupil gauge right there i also have my mini sharpies because as a nurse you do a lot of labeling and these sharpies are going to be attached to my badge drill and just for easier reach and you know you're going to be labeling your dressing changes your feeding tubes your iv pumps all that good stuff and then this pen I love me a fine tip point pen and when I came across this pen I've tried several that are multicolor I did not like them some of them are wobbly when you try to write with them but this one it's very fine I like this pen so far it has blue green red and black your primary colors so for black it's just good if you're doing your handoff report you're just noting down whatever the other nurse is telling you um green is what i usually like to put under my plan of action for the day when i see green i know those are the tasks that i need to be doing red is something alarming or just something that stands out for me to know like hey you need to place an order or hey you need to follow up with a doctor's order or this person's labs came and they were deteriorating so that's just good for me to have and then blue can be anything that I just want to color code. Very handy to have. Then I also have my shears because as a nurse, you're going to be cutting a lot of dressings. In the next slot, I just put my extras. So my extra ear tips and my extra equipment for my stethoscope. So my stethoscope goes into this section and uh, this stethoscope has to be the most expensive thing I've had to invest on myself. I mean, apart from the Apple Watch. So I invested in my Apple Watch when I passed my boards because I promised myself when I passed the boards, I'm going to get my Apple Watch. And the stethoscope, I told myself when I get a job as a nurse, I am going to invest in a good, good stethoscope being that when I started nursing school, I just used this cheap stethoscope that's bought from the school bookstore because I didn't feel the need to invest in an expensive one just yet. And I put all my coins into this bad boy. I believe this is about 344. And that's about it for this case. Moving on to my toiletry bag. I have so many things in here. Let me now get up close and personal and just show you guys. First things first, of course, you need your lady stuff. Deodorant wipes. I have this ones from Dove and they smell so refreshing. With working, you're gonna be doing a lot of running up and down, lifting and all that. And I just like to keep smelling fresh, being that we're not really allowed to spray perfume. Just wipe myself all over and then that just refreshes me. Then to go with that, I also have a mini travel size Dove Dio. Of course, you know what this is for. After wiping down my armpits, I just put some of this just to keep me smelling fresh you know this is where i also keep my glass cleaner my dry eye relief my karmix i never go anywhere without my karmix literally i have one for every single place i'm gonna be at going in hand in hand with a karmix is this stress relief hand cream from bath and body works i do not know how to explain the consistency of these creams but it's so so soothing you put this, you just feel like your hands are like baby hands all of a sudden. It just, it does the job. It quickly just melts over your hand and it just leaves your hand feeling minty. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Last but not least, I have my migrant stick. I decided to give this bad boy a um, try recently and I don't know whether it's a placebo effect. I don't know where the soothness comes in. 
but when I had a migraine, I just apply this on the temples and the back of my neck, behind the ears. It's like the pain is just lifted away your body. I cannot explain it how, but it does have peppermint oil, so it makes you feel minty and that minty feeling just takes away your migraine for some reason. I love it. Then last but not least in this little pocket right here is where again I keep more mints. Essentially that is it for this video. Um, I don't think there's anything else I may include and if at all I find something else that's useful along the way of course I'm gonna be covering that in a future video but one thing I also want to mention being that I'm going to be a new grad nurse and I'm just starting out as a nurse for the very first time. Um, I'm going to be doing another video of what I find to be useful as a new grad and I'm going to be doing another video with how I'm going to be organizing my orientation book and all that good stuff for new grad nurses. That's it for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.